Welcome to OptiSigns. This video will quickly show you the basics of using our OptiSigns platform. For hardware, we recommend using our OptiSigns players. They are made specifically to use OptiSigns for your digital signage needs. Our app is also compatible with the most common operating systems along with commercial grade and other platforms. Once OptiSigns is downloaded to your device, a pairing code will appear on your screen. Next, you will log in to your OptiSigns account on a computer or by using our OptiSigns admin app. If you haven't created an account, then do so by clicking Create an account on the login page. Once logged in, go to the Screens tab if you aren't there already. Select Add Screen. Enter the pairing code. Your display is now paired to your account. Name it and add tags to help you identify the device. In this window, you can edit and view details about your screen. There are three types of content you can publish to your device. We'll learn about each one shortly. More settings can be found under the Operational Schedule and Advanced dropdowns. If you ever need to, you can remove or unpair a device from your account at any time. Now, we need to upload or create content. Do this by going to the Files Assets tab. This page is like a computer's cloud folder, a place for you to organize and manage all your individual pieces of content. There are four different ways to add content. Upload Files lets you import content directly from your computer or other storage drives. Templates provides over 5,000 designs for you to pick from and edit however you'd like. You can also create your own design from a blank canvas by clicking on New Design. I'll select a template to announce our new business hours. This entire template is customizable. You can also add saved content from your account, pick from free stock images, and use widgets like date and time. I can even create my own QR code. I like how it looks, so I will save it. You can also make content using any of our apps. Here, you can pick from over 100 apps such as social media, Canva, News, Microsoft and Google Suites, along with many, many more. If you feel overwhelmed, then no worries. Click on the app, then select Help to open a step-by-step -step article for that specific app. Here is an example of what the Instagram app looks like, a YouTube video, and a Power BI report. One of the most popular apps is the split screen. This allows you to place separate content in different areas of your display. You can select a pre-built layout or start from scratch by selecting custom. I'll select a template. I can customize the size of each zone and even add or delete zones. For my main zone, I'll create and add in a work schedule using the Google Calendar app. Now I'll show the local weather using the weather app. Lastly, I'll add a scrolling ticker with the latest Wall Street news using the Wall Street Journal app. Let's preview and see how it looks. Looks great, I'll save it. Last but not least, feeds. These are pre-built slideshows and videos that are up to date and filled with engaging content that is free to use. Explore over 100 feeds and pick out some interesting content to include in your assets library. I'll pick a trivia feed. After selecting it, and clicking on Next, simply name it and it will be saved to your files and assets. Now let's add our assets to a playlist. Playlists allow you to create a series of content to play one after another in a continuous loop. Let's create a new one and add in some content. Any of our files and assets can be added. You can customize the duration of each piece of media here. I'll edit the name and it will save automatically. Now let's create a schedule to have different content show at specific times. Select Create Schedule. Click and drag when you want your content to show. 
select your asset or playlist. I'll have this content play every day except for Saturdays and Sundays. Next month, I have an event on Valentine's Day, and I want one specific asset playing from noon to 5. I'm going to delete my repeating content for that time and add some new content. But what about when I don't have content scheduled? No worries. I'm going to set my default content by clicking on the gears icon. This ensures I always have content showing when nothing is scheduled. I'll name the schedule and it will save automatically. Aside from using the schedule, there are other ways to dictate times and dates that specific content shows on a screen. For instance, I can set live expire dates on files and assets. If this content is in a playlist or schedule, then it will only show within the live expire dates that I set. I can also set specific item schedules within a playlist. Let's say this playlist runs 24 seven, but I only want this specific asset to show in the morning. No problem. I simply set an item schedule. Now let's send some content to our screen. The first route we can take is from the screens tab. Click on your target screen or select the edit option. Pick the type of content and select your desired asset, playlist, or schedule. You can also push content to multiple screens at the same time by selecting your devices and clicking on edit. Another route is by going directly to a playlist or schedule and simply selecting push to screens and then pick what screens to publish to. We can do this for a single asset as well. Click on the menu option on a piece of content and once again, select push to screens. That wraps it up. If you have any questions, feel free to use our AI chatbot or contact us directly. Thanks for watching.